Weekly Artificial Intelligence News. Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news AI. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the artificial intelligence universe. So let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right to it. Highlights of the week. System recognizes hand gestures. Researchers are developing a new technology that uses hand gestures to carry out commands on computers. The prototype, called Typealike, works through a regular laptop webcam with a simple fixed mirror. The program recognizes the user's hands beside or near the keyboard and prompts operations based on different hand positions. A user could, for example, place their right hand with the thumb pointing up beside the keyboard, and the program would recognize this as a signal to increase the volume. Different gestures and different combinations of gestures can be programmed to carry out a wide range of operations. The innovation in the field of human-computer interaction aims to make user experience faster and smoother, with less need for keyboard shortcuts or working with a mouse and trackpad. Giving bug light bots a boost. When it comes to robots, bigger isn't always better. Someday, a swarm of insect-sized robots might pollinate a field of crops or search for survivors amid the rubble of a collapsed building. MIT researchers have demonstrated diminutive drones that can zip around with bug-like agility and resilience, which could eventually perform these tasks. The soft actuators that propel these micro-robots are very durable, but they require much higher voltages than similarly sized rigid actuators. The featherweight robots can't carry the necessary power electronics that would allow them to fly on their own. Now, these researchers have pioneered a fabrication technique that enables them to build soft actuators that operate with 75% lower voltage than current versions while carrying 80% more payload. These soft actuators are like artificial muscles that rapidly flap the robot's wings. This new fabrication technique produces artificial muscles with fewer defects, which dramatically extends the lifespan of the components and increases the robot's performance and payload. Robots use fear to fight invasive fish. The invasive mosquito fish, Gambusia hulbruki, chews off the tails of the freshwater fishes and tadpoles, leaving the native animals to perish while dining on other fishes and amphibians' eggs. Researchers engineered a robot to scare mosquito fish away, revealing how fear alters its behavior, physiology, fertility, and may help turn the tide against invasive species. To fight the invasive fish, the international team, composed of biologists and engineers from Australia, the US, and Italy, turned to its natural predator, the largemouth bass, Micropodus salamoids, for inspiration. They crafted a robotic fish that mimics the appearance and simulates the movements of the real predator. Aided by computer vision, the robot strikes when it spots the mosquito fish approaching tadpoles of an Australian species, Littera mori, which is threatened by mosquito fish in the wild. Scared and stressed, the mosquito fish showed fearful behaviors and experienced weight loss, changes in body shape, and a reduction in fertility, all of which impair their survival and reproduction. Mosquito fish is one of the 100 world's most invasive species, and current methods to eradicate it are too expensive and time-consuming to effectively contrast its speed, says first author Giovanni Polarvino at GeoPolarvino of the University of Western Australia. This global pest is a serious threat to many aquatic animals. Instead of killing them one by one, we're presenting an approach that can inform better strategies to control this global pest. We made their worst nightmare become real a robot that scares the mosquito fish, but not the other animals around it. Taking discovery closer to use in AI networks. Researchers have successfully demonstrated proof of concept of using their multimodal transistor, MMT, in artificial neural networks, which mimic the human brain. This is an important step towards using the thin film transistors as artificial intelligence hardware and moves edge computing forward, with the prospect of reducing power needs and improving efficiency, rather than relying solely on computer chips. The MMT, first reported by Surrey researchers in 2020, overcomes long-standing challenges associated with transistors and can perform the same operations as more complex circuits. This latest research, published in the peer-reviewed journal Scientific Reports, uses mathematical modeling to prove the concept of using MMTs in artificial intelligence systems, which is a vital step towards manufacturing. Using measured and simulated transistor data, the researchers showed that well-designed multimodal transistors could operate robustly as rectified linear unit type RELU, activations in artificial neural networks, achieving practically identical classification accuracy as pure RELU implementations. They used both measured and simulated MMT data to train an artificial neural network to identify handwritten numbers and compare the results with the built-in RELU of the software. 
the results confirmed the potential of MMT devices for thin film decision and classification circuits. The same approach could be used in more complex AI systems. AI Security Products at CES 2022 MicroAI, a Texas-based Edge AI product developer, is demonstrating its Launchpad Quick Start deployment tool along with its new security software at this year's CES exhibition. The world's largest tech exhibition, CES, is taking place at the Las Vegas Convention Center, LVCC, from 5 to 7 January this year. MicroAI has partnered with communication solution provider iBasis to showcase Launchpad's management capabilities at booth 12318. Using connectivity provided by iBasis, the demo will show how Launchpad manages MicroAI software running on embedded devices and handles data from multiple sensors. It will also highlight Launchpad's ability to securely administer a fleet of SIM cards within the same portal, thus simplifying mobile device management for customers. MicroAI CEO Yasser Khan said, quote, Edge native AI enables embedded AI software to run on microcontrollers and microprocessors in endpoint devices, transforming how AI can be made available right where data is captured. Launchpad provides a straightforward way for companies to manage this, opening up new opportunities across many industry sectors. NVIDIA Canvas using Gaogon 2 AI model. NVIDIA has updated its Canvas real-time painting tool with a new AI model based on Gogan 2 research to achieve a 4 times resolution boost. Canvas enables artists to turn simple brushstrokes into realistic landscapes filled with materials including water, grass, snow, mountains, and more. The idea that concepts can be turned into final versions far quicker than ever before. The free software, which is still in beta, is the perfect example of how AI complements and enhances human abilities rather than replaces. Canvas's latest update achieves close to photorealism with greater definition and fewer artifacts. Nokia deploys AI video. Nokia has announced that it's deploying its AI video analytics solution to improve rail crossing safety. The solution, Scene Analytics, will initially be deployed for Besseland Transport AG, BLT, in Münchenstein, Switzerland. Scene Analytics combines machine learning and computer vision capabilities to enable real-time analysis of video feeds. The solution can be trained on CCTV data to learn what's normal or anomalous. Secure Analytics can be integrated with many standard cameras, reducing the cost and time required to buy and install new hardware across the rail network. The solution also helps to reduce costs while improving the rail service for passengers by minimizing downtime and relays. In a report, the EU identified PDF around 250 fatalities and 300 serious injuries relating to rail crossings in 2018 across its then 28 member states. New AI Navigation Presenting Space Crashes What do you call a broken satellite? Today, it's a multi-million dollar piece of dangerous space junk. But a new collision avoidance system developed by students at the University of Cincinnati is getting engineers closer to developing robots that can fix broken satellites or spacecraft in orbit. UC College of Engineering and Applied Science doctoral students Daegun Choi and Anurad Chabra presented their project at the Science and Technology Forum and Exposition in January in San Diego, California. Hosted by the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, it's the world's largest aerospace engineering conference. We have to provide a reliable collision avoidance algorithm that operates in real time for autonomous systems to perform a mission safely. So we proposed a new collision avoidance system using explainable artificial intelligence, Choi said. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Lastly, join in next time for more of such interesting content.